The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Hold on with me one second, folks. I've lost a, a, a photo that I wanted to put into the den here. This is the uh, uh, front page of Barron's this week, if you notice, June 12th. And he's saying they're letting the bulls loose. Folks, I know this is the third, and it's still going up. And it might go up for the 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. But if this turns out to be right, I'll be shocked, and believe me, I get shocked quite often, but uh, they have a tremendous, and I have nothing against Barron's. It's just statistically, it's just like being on the cover of Time Magazine. You get your face on the cover of Time Magazine, folks, it's uh, usually that's a high tick. So anyway, let's just keep a quick look at that. Now, I've asked, several people have asked me what in the world is going on, folks. I will try to give you my two cents worth, and if you pay more than that, you will have to be able to overpay in just about everything else you do. This is the one that's been running it all. This is the June futures for the NASDAQ. I want you to see, you can see where we were here. We came down and we made a perfect 382 retracement. And then we came down and we made another perfect 382 retracement. And then we busted out to the upside and we're still going higher. The 1.27 on this measures to 151. We are trading there right now, but the higher level here, the ABCD, goes to 15,400 in the NASDAQ, and it could certainly get there without too much trouble. I'm just an ABC. I'm going to post this up here because this is what I do, folks. I'm just like old Curly. Get old Jack Balance's picture up here. He used to come into the Drexel office wearing his suit. Uh, he always had an open uh, collared shirt with it, but the girls would love to see him do one-handed push-ups, and he was in his 60s then, and uh, he was just incredibly personable, and he's got that gravelly voice, but you talk about, he could have been a comedian, he was so funny, but uh, a real stand-up guy. Anyway, just one thing, folks, I base everything on what I look at as looking at charts. Uh, do, you know, do I break the bank? No. Do I make a pretty good living? Yeah, I do. And I knew that back in 1982, after being with Drexel for all those years, I knew that I could sit in front of a machine and make money just by looking at these patterns. And that's what I try to do. I'm not going to get them all, but I'm going to get some of them. Getting back to the stock market, I want you to take a look now. This is the E-mini S&P. This is the June. I want to get it up here because this is a very interesting pattern that's completing. It's a pattern just like no other, except it has the possibility of being something really big here today. So you see we had the big run up this morning. We had the pullback. There it is. It's just 61 percent retracement. And now we're looking at this ABCD forming right now. I just saw a new uh, high being hit in the S&P. So we're getting really close to this number up here at 4188. Uh, that's what that measures to. That's a three drive to a top pattern. Will that one work? I don't know. All I know at that point, that's where my risk factor comes in. And if we get above that by 10 points, I risk $500 and I shake it off the best I can and move on to the next one. That's all I'm doing, folks. I'm just following the patterns as I see them. I'm not trying to predict the market. I gave, you know, some people, I can give some pretty good ideas what it's going to do sometimes, but frankly, I'm not in the business of predicting in market, folks. I'm in the business of trying to make money off of these patterns. And if I see one that looks good, I'm going to take it. Yesterday, if you'll remember, let's switch gears here because someone's asked to take a look at the natural gas again. Yesterday, when we were looking at natural gas, we were showing you uh, was that yesterday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. Yes. Uh, yeah, Tuesday is followed by Wednesday. There, there was the support that was supposed to come in right about here. We, we talked about that right there at the 220, uh, 217 level. 
That's exactly where it was supposed to come in. So all we were doing when we were watching that pattern, I'm just going to bring up that something's wrong with the computer today. 220, not 217. Hold on just a second here and get this up here. You'll see that the low came right down to the two. 220 level there it is there's that same line you see how it came up it backed off one more time and now we're trading up into this zone right here so that's all that is it's just a pattern trying to tell you that hey this might be a place where natural gas is going to be forming a bottom also if you remember yesterday because we had tim on tim ord on the show on friday and he was talking about the coming weakness in crude oil we were talking about crude oil so again all I'm going to use is Curly's approach, try to do just one thing. And if you look at this, the one thing, of course, are the ABCD patterns. You can see them all forming down right here. And, of course, it could go a little bit lower, of course, but it didn't. It's rallied uh, uh, just about 4% today. We're up uh, almost near $70 a barrel, a little low, almost $3 a barrel below where we were when these patterns completed. And that's all we were. There's no news involved with this because I don't listen to the news. I don't read the news. I just look at the patterns and try. I know it's as boring as heck for most people. And, you know, folks, I've been doing this since 1959. Well, actually since 62. Senior in college is when I was really getting involved into the trading quite a bit. But I traded a little bit, you know, every year for small amounts, but still having fun doing it. But been doing it a long time and I know it's still exciting to me do I get bored with it no I don't get bored with it I get a little frustrated with myself as we all do when we're trading you know the only way you know people always well I miss the high tick I miss the low tick the only person that gets the high tick at the low tick that's a very very rare occurrence yeah it might happen once in a while but most of the time you're going to be diddling in the middle that's what you want to be looking at and that's nothing wrong with that. But what you want to do is to be able to have a strategy that tells you whether you're right or wrong. And that's what ABCD patterns do. Because when you start going below D by very much, there's trouble in River City and you just got to get out of the way. Uh, I'm going to show you a next chart here. That's, we've been talking about it for three days now. And we're the, the beepers went off on it today. And that's our good friends up north here, uh, the Canadian dollar. We have just taken out the lows of the last three months today, folks. Now, keep a close eye on this because if this thing does not go down, it's all this is doing is getting rid of the last people that were buying down in here. And look how many days in a row this thing has been going down. This is a very, very oversold market. And now it's cleaned out all of these stops, and it's only trading a few pips below these stops. Folks, this thing should have, and it might, it might later, this thing should have collapsed and should have gone off the bottom of the chart so far, but it has not. So this has the potential of being a triple bottom. And, uh, you know, look, look at the, count the highs to the lows, okay? From, from this high to this low, this high to this low, we've got time and price squared also. Hey, we've got to pay a few bills. We're going to be right back. 877 927 66 Four, eight. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60 minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30 day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. C -c Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, the chart that I've just posted here is a chart showing you the explosive move we've had in the NASDAQ, uh, people coming in uh, to buying it. Now, the comment on this was the more there's more longs than short. Folks, That for every long, there's got to be a short. It's an auction market, so I don't know where they get this uh, uh, thinking behind that, but for every long, there's a short. So as the longs are in control here because prices are going up. But someone is shorting into that, and that's what you have to find out yourself. And these figures are very difficult to, to you know, to really understand, because remember, folks, for every buyer, there's got to be a seller. So someone is selling up in here. Look how crazy it was to be a seller up in here. Yeah, crazy like a fox, because once it rolled over, you can see it comes down. And of course, markets drop faster than they go up. And the reason for that is that fear is a greater emotion than greed. And, of course, Paula Webb will be our guest here in about 20 minutes, and she knows that uh, extremely well. Okay, now I wanted to cover a couple other p patterns here of other markets that we follow. This is the foots. Boy, well, something is really wrong with my, with my technical abilities here today. I hit the button, and the other one thing pops up. This is the 60-minute chart on the FTSE. As you can see, we're still in a profound downtrend. Uh, we are completing a pattern up in here. As you can see, that's a basically another ABCD pattern that is happening. Now, if we go over, cross over to Germany, we're going to take a look at the German DAX looking to, wow, something is really wrong with my computer. I hit one button, another button pops up. Got to love technical stuff, folks. Okay, now there's the German DAX, as you can see, we are heading higher with the mat. If it follows along with what we have going today, we're still going to continue going higher. That's going to be a very interesting thing. One of the best traders that I know uh, went short today, and he went short a little early like he usually is. But he said it's either today or tomorrow, and we're going to start a vicious downtrend to the upside, to the downside. Now, folks, 
I I report that to you because I don't follow what he does. I just listen to what he does. I look at patterns. When I see a pattern, like in that S&P, if it gets to, you know, that 43.88 level, the highest been 43.77, yes, I can trade that because I can put a 10-point stop on it and risk $500. That, that's all it is. I'm just looking at a pattern. Some of them work. Some of them don't. That's the bottom line of what I'm trying to do. I know it sounds like a broken record, because frankly, I am a broken record when I listen to that. If you remember, we were talking about gold and silver yesterday. I bring this chart up on silver because it was a very, very bearish chart. We'll get it up here. Uh, you'll be able to see, you know, the price of silver is substantially uh, below. It's around 2380. It's dropped over 60 cents. Uh, an ounce since where we were yesterday. It's down into this area right here. And that was nothing more than an ABCD pattern up here at that 50% retracement of that high right there. Perfect A, B, C, D. And if you did the work and measured the number of bars between the low and the high at AB and the low and the high of the CD, you'll see that it came in as of yesterday. And that's when we had that small rally. And now it's breaking to the downside. Also, one of the things that we talked about yesterday was that cattle market. And we said, watch this, because if this, I bring this to your attention, because whether they work or not really means very little. The fact that they do work some of the time, but don't work some of the, the other part of the time, but they bet they work better than 60% of the time, 40% of the time to fail. This was cattle. This was highly indicative of a market in cattle that should go lower. And it went substantially lower today, down another couple cents. So that's all that is. It's just pattern recognition, swing trading, just watching certain patterns that have certain probabilities. And that's what you're looking at. If you remember, folks, we talked about oil and Mike Moore. Just a bit. Here's another one of the U.S. oil chart. This is the same thing in a, in a beautiful color format you'll be able to see what we were looking at here because you had multiple ABCD patterns completing down in this area right here. You can see there's the larger one right in there. There's the three drive pattern in the green color. And there's where we were. We didn't get quite this low. We went right to the D point and then it's rallied 4% today. Now, if it's gonna be any good, it's gonna rally 4% today and three or 4% tomorrow and three or 4% the next day because if it doesn't, and if it doesn't, then you know that's what the real problem is going to have happen. Folks, my two cents worth of what's going on in the market relates to this right here. I want to get this up here. Boy, I've got to reboot this thing. This thing is just driving me nuts. And that's not a very short trip, you know. Hold on. There's what you're looking at here. These, this is the S&P 500 with 493 stocks in it. But look at the seven stocks. Those are the ones that are graphed here. 493 of these are way, way below, way down in here. But these are the big daddy rabbits. Tesla, Amazon, Google, NVIDIA, AVCO, uh, Broadcom, Apple, uh, Tesla, all of those are in there. Those seven stocks account for all of these gains. Now, maybe it's going to keep going that way, and it, it certainly could. But when you're looking at this, this is completing uh, right now a three drive to a top pattern. There's drive one, there's drive two, there's drive three. It measures to either 15,100 or 15,400 is what you're looking at uh, right now. Uh, we got the S&Ps only a couple points away from the high. That we're in the September now at 44.19. High has been 44.23. The high in the NASDAQ, NASDAQ has been 15,151. There's a big 1.618 expansion staring you to face at 15,400. So either today or tomorrow, uh, we're going to see whether this market is going to. Well, we just would like to see a correction to see how it's going to handle the correction. That's the main thing. You remember in cattle yesterday, boy, we already talked about cattle. Don't want to repeat myself over and over again. But that's what I'm watching for is I'm waiting for a move down, a fast move down, and then the 382 rally back. At that point, I know that my odds of winning are going to be better than 6 out of 10, and the profit potential on it is 3 to 1 in my favor. 
That's that's what I'm looking at when I'm looking at these charts on a shorter term basis. I'm not using moving averages or oscillators. Some of those things work really good for certain traders. They don't work for me because they're lagging and I need to be, you know, spot on right at the right at the moment of truth. Hold on the a beeper has just uh, gone off. Oh, it's the uh, the Japanese yen. Uh, and we were looking to go short that today. Didn't quite get to our price. 877-927-6648. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, Paula seems to be really busy right now uh, working with one of her, her clients. So I'm going to continue on with some of the other things that I'm watching. Uh, I want to bring back that chart here. The, the, to me, this is, boy, oh, boy, something is really wrong with my computer. What happens, folks, is when I hit my uh, enter button, it doubles, it, it flashes, and that is not usually what this does, so it's a little scary. By the way, uh, those of you that don't know too much about the geography around here, tomorrow, uh, excuse me, on Wednesday, the 15th of June, we start the monsoon season. That's June, July, August, and September for the next four months. We rain just about every day. Uh, sometimes they're absolutely torrential. Other times they're just little sprinkles. And sometimes it's tremendous lightning 
and stuff like that. When Mark and Paula moved here on August the 16th of 1996, I remember it because it was a day and a date that Elvis passed away. He died in 75, but it was on August 16th. And so uh, I picked him up at the airport and dropped him off at their new house, which was about a half a mile away. And I came home and it was raining cats and dogs. And I couldn't get into the house because the electric uh, door opener would not open. So I was in the driveway you know, waiting for the rain to stop. And the, we had the, the largest tree in the neighborhood was in front of our house. And it uh, it got hit. And it split the tree in half. And half the tree went into the roof of my house, into the master bedroom and the, the bathroom area. And it was, we must have had three inches of rain. It filled my house up with water, folks. I had four inches of water all through the house it did a huge amount of damage all covered by insurance but uh, that's how I remember the day that they got here so the monsoon start and guess what a miracle has happened technical analysis has found its way to Paula Webb is in the house Paula how are you doing Yay! hey mm -hmm. I'm doing good. how about you pretty good Paula guess what I talked to the folks here at the uh, this residential area where we live, a casino, a Catalina del Rey, and they're going to give us the clubhouse for a couple of days, no charge, in October. So get ready. We're going to put the band together, and we're going to have a two-day live trading session, and you and I will be in charge, and we're going to have Rich Anderson is going to come in as a guest, and we'll probably have one or two other guests that will come in and trade with us. But we're going to do two hours Two, two full days of live trading, starting at 6 in the morning, going through till 2 in the afternoon. And uh, we're going to have more information on that uh, as we get the thing. But they would definitely have uh, given me two days free. Well, they don't charge very much anyway. But it, you know how nice it is there because we did a couple yeah. of those with you and Mark before. Tell us what you're looking at today, young lady. Sorry for interrupting. Go ahead. Oh, that's all right. Uh, just uh, we're working on um, updating the website. We're going to have a brand new look in a couple weeks. We're going to have some new products, some really super cool free downloads for traders to, you know, stay focused and so that sort of thing. And um, still working on the books. And I hope everybody will just be patient. I know you want audio editions of The Discipline Trader and The Complete yeah. Trader and all our other books other than Trading in the Zone, which already has one. And it's just a very lengthy pro project. So finding the right person to emote our words in the way I want to hear them. You know, it takes a little takes a little bit of time to interview all these people. So just bear with us. But we are working on new stuff and in the meantime, follow follow me on Twitter and, you know, or ask Larry and we'll all stay connected. And the only thing, other thing I want to say today is every morning you wake up and it's a new day of trading. It's a brand new day to take profit as you see it. So ask yourself every morning, what kind of trader do I want to be today? Do I want to be a trader that has to be right or do I want to be the kind of trader that makes money consistently. And if you do that every morning, your results will definitely improve. That's right. You got to get got rid of the one, forget your losses faster than you forget your profits. That's for sure. If you can just learn to do that. I was fortunate because Mark wrote that book, Trading in Zone, right here in this office for five years. And so I listened to it every day. And after Five, four years and nine months, I finally realized I, I better start listening to this dude. And then he, then you moved him away up to uh, Scottsdale. Listen, I want to thank you for joining us today. And we're going to have you on for a longer segment just as soon as you get your uh, website up so we can go through some of these great products that you and Mark worked on through the years because this is such a mental game that uh, it's really important that people focus on the mental part of the trading. I I saw it after all these, I've known you 30 some years and I've seen it day after day after day. It's so mental, it's just uh, totally, uh, it's just like sports. If you get out of the mental game, you're gonna lose. And that's the same thing in our business. Right, right. Uh, uh, and, and sorry about your uh, American Hockey League team there in Tucson, sorry we kicked their ass. <laughs> I didn't even know we had one. All I know is the, the Olympic, uh, the what is it called the uh, museum not a museum but the uh, what they, it's it's a, the U.S. Hockey 
uh, I forget what it's called here. It's in Tucson. It can imagine it's, Timber's going to be 100 degrees a day. And we've got a hockey team. Uh, I forget what they call that thing, but and it's a uh, museum for a ca- college hockey. And uh, oh, so yeah, here, right. here, yeah, I didn't even know that it was here. So every time I see that hockey, I was watching it. I was always thinking of Mark and how much he liked hockey. He played up to the till he couldn't play anymore, which is in the past few months, but uh, of his life. But God, he sure loved hockey. Gosh darn it! Uh, and we were fortunate enough to meet the hockey players from the 1980 uh, Olympic team. God, that was so great. Uh, do you realize how long ago that was, dear? That was 32 years oh, ago. No, 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 it was. Oh, oh, yeah, when I was like 10, yes. Yeah, that's what I said. You were 10 <laughs> years old, yeah. Okay. Hey, listen, you keep the faith, and we'll have you on again soon, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Take care. You bet. Thank you, PT. I'll let you folks know uh, when we're going to do this, but I, I like this uh, live trading stuff, and we will do it here in Tucson. It's easy to get in and out of here. And we're going to make it so that uh, try to get about 20, 25 people and uh, we'll make a really good uh, play and donate the money to, to a charity of some kind. Folks, I want to take a moment here. This is the one that really means a lot to me uh, as far as a chart. And that's this one that looking at it a little differently with great colors. This is the one that shows how these seven stocks are running the market. Now, people, other stocks are being tagged along with this okay look folks nine months ago people didn't even know what artificial intelligence was i mean very few people did okay now it's a household world i was playing poker over the weekend and two people at the table started talking about how much they knew about artificial intelligence and after you listen to them for five minutes it was a very very small amount that they knew about anything so this is going to be a great product there's no question about that you can see it, but just like everything else, it's going to take time. And then they're going to have to go through the regulations. You don't think the government's going to let them do certain things, do you? I don't think so. And when the guy from Google got on Bloomberg last night and said artificial intelligence will cure cancer, I hope that he's right. But, boy, that's a pretty bold statement. You know, they have all the, the known proteins already in the artificial intelligence. Are you kidding me? 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and I have a guest on the line, Jim from Palm Harbor, Florida. Uh oh. Hello. Jim, are you there? I think we've lost Jim. I th I heard the uh maybe he'll maybe he'll call back. I I think he will. So uh he he probably hung up, maybe got tired of waiting, but we'll try. I posted the chart up here uh of the gold folks. Uh this is a 4-hour chart as you can see here, but we have a, a really interesting ABCD pattern down here about $100 lower. And given the way some of these markets are jumping around, uh, you could easily do that. You'll notice that we've made lower highs through here. Today, of course, we've taken out this low, which means that's below the 1957 uh, level. So uh, we're still moving down. That means we're only about $100 away uh, from this level. Now, there'll be some strong support here at 1946, uh, 1945, of course. Uh, that's the ABCD on this little move here. But below that, you'll be looking at folks. If they gets down there, at that uh, below eight, around that uh, 18, I believe it's 1865. Uh, that's the end of the Civil War. Uh, the we the, that'll be a monster ABCD at a 382 on the long-term weekly. And boy, you have to take a look at that. That will be a really, really interesting. <laughs> I have to tell you a funny story, folks. You know, being from Indiana, I always say, oh, boy, oh, boy, look at this one. Oh, boy, look at that. Isn't that good? Well, I was in, I, went, I went down to Grady Memorial Hospital to try to get uh, Keflin on the formulary, and I, it was raining like heck, and I got into the taxi cab at the airport to take me to the medical center, and I got in, and I said to the cab driver, he says, boy, is it raining, and he was a black cab driver, and he reached around, and he grabbed my tie, and he pulled me, he says, don't you ever call me boy, and then I realized that, you know, I was in the deep south, you know, Terre Haute's not that far south, and I told him, I said, gee, I, I, I say it by accident. I said, I, I, did, I certainly didn't mean that in any way. Then he realized that, you know, I was just an old country boy from Indiana. And then he, he apologized. I said, no, I said, there's no reason to apologize. I said, I could see where you, you took it a little differently. So anyway, that's uh, how I keep saying, boy, this, boy, that. But that's how I grew up. I'm not going to change. I've been through those changes before, and I certainly have not done anything differently over the last uh, few years. Anyway, the silver and gold, that's why they still look lower. Folks, treasury bonds and treasury notes are going to go higher. Uh, there's no, you know, all you have to do is think about this debt thing that came in. They have to, the only way they can get more money is to create more debt. It's just like if you're, if you have a, credit cards that are folded up and they're giving you credit cards in the mail all the time. It's the same thing. That's exactly what the government's doing in the simplest terms. That's what's happening. So that's that's why interest rates will go higher. And all they're doing is deflating the money is exactly what they're doing. OK, let's keep keep that in mind. Very, very. Uh, it's not hard. Now let me get back to that S&P because we're getting really close to that level here. And remember, this is just a short-term trading pattern. I might not, I might, if I get filled, I might not be in it for more than four or five hours. I don't know, because I'm only going to risk 10 points. Let's just get this up here and see how it looks. Now, this is a sh short-term pattern. 
here in the, this is all of today's action. You can see there was the early morning low. The market rallied up. It pulled right back to a 61% retracement right there. Okay, and now we're in the process of making this ABCD pattern. This is a butterfly up here at uh, 44, uh, excuse me, 43.88. Uh, All right, and we're 43.72 now, high 43.77. Now, if it's late in the day, I'm probably not going to do this, but this number is going to be in place unless we take out one of these numbers, which are down here. And, and you know they have to drop quite a bit to take that out, 20 or 30 handles, then that will change the whole scenario. But that's the number that I'm looking at on the short-term pattern. That's the one that we sold at 4305. It had 30 handles in it. Okay, we sold it at 4324. That had 30 handles in it. This one might have 30 handles in it. But it's just a pattern. That's all it is. Nothing more or nothing less. That's why we're watching it so very, very closely. Now, let's move on. To another question that's uh, uh, something that people have brought it back up and boy this is terrible this one was filled today and uh, we'll get that up here and show you this is the euro uh, we've been waiting all week long uh, for it to get there there's where we were Sunday Monday here we are Tuesday and we hit it today the high was uh, 1801.22 we sold it at 05 and we have our stop up above 30, so we're only risking 25 pips on that. So far, it seems to be working okay, but again, these patterns can stop in a heartbeat, and sometimes they're just not going to work, and that's it. Right now, it's you know trading 107.88. Uh, the other one that we were looking at, of course, that had a really beautiful pattern to it, and uh, we were I know I kept that one in here. Oh, I don't know anything. I should have said that because now as soon as I look for it, I can't find it. And that is the British pound. Just check your chart on the British pound, folks. We had a perfect ABCD up there at 126.10, trading a little bit below that right now. But that was a perfect ABCD. And those are the kinds that you want to pay, you know, really close attention to because they pay the bills. And not only that, but the odds are in your favor as such that, you know, you got a better than two or three to one payoff with the probability of being right six out of ten times. And that is not hard to do. Or it's not easy to do. But once you understand how these patterns work, it'll give you a pretty good idea that, uh, you know, that's the, uh, that's the edge that you need to get you into the patterns that you're, that you're waiting to see. I want to try to find my gold chart on the daily. Uh, here it is. This is it coming up here. Talk on it. This is the gold on the long-term weekly because this shows you the importance of this number that we have coming up right before that potential 1866 number. We want to get this up. This is the really number here, folks. This is the one at 1915. You can see you have a perfect ABCD there. There's the 382 off of the bottom. Uh, this, this, if you can't buy this one, folks, you shouldn't be trading because that is a perfect ABCD coming in at the 382 of the low down here, and it's going to be just about exactly 61% off of this move right here. This is the one you want to be watching. We're only $50 away, folks. We could be there today or tomorrow. Easy. So I'd like to see it take five or six days to get down to this level. But remember, this is a uh, weekly chart, so we ought to do it at least two or three weeks. would really even be better, maybe 10 days. I remember Chris Carolyn. Uh, the fellow used to work for uh, a prector for a while. He's he's talking about a really uh, incredible uh, day for trading on the 25th of June. Unfortunately, that's a Sunday, so you got to be watching charts on the 26th of June, which will be a really big day, I would imagine. So we'll have that. By the way, Norm Winsky will be our guest on our show on Friday. Always a good guest tomorrow. We're going to have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. And on Friday, I believe we're going to have um, Mr. Uh, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics will be talking to us more about the crude oil because uh, he pretty much uh, hit that bottom right on the money. And we're going to see how much we'll get as far as a rally. So stay tuned, folks. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. We have exciting news, Tigers. This June, Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle will be hosting two webinars, providing insight into his renowned market timing methodologies. On June 8th, Tim will delve into the S&P 500, teaching sentiment indicators, identifying market bottoms and divergence, and so much more. On June 15th, Tim pivots to the gold market, taking a look at cycle analysis, ratio studies, advanced decline indicators, and other important tools for analyzing this sector. Sign up today on TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, before we went on a break, uh, Jim from Palm Harbor, Florida, called in asking about missing trades. And Jim, I can tell you this, I go through it every single day. I'm always missing trades. I'm always getting out too soon, getting out too late. The only people that are perfect are the people that don't trade at all or talk about trading. But other than that, you're going to miss them all the time. Mark Douglas in this office right here interviewed some of the most famous traders that uh, you've ever heard of. And the one universal truth, the one that hurt them the most was missing out. If they missed something, they always wondered why that happened. You don't have to have a reason, folks. It happens all the time. You just have to shake it off and move on to the next one. I take you know bits and pieces. If you ever read the book, My Own Story by Bernard Baruch, one of the greatest traders of the 1930s, the close personal friend to uh, J.P. Morgan, and he said, I made all of my money in 60% of the move. That's what he said. He never tried to buy the bottom. Never tried to sell the top. I'm interested in in the middle, that 60%, and that's how he made his fortune. So whether that means a lot or not, I don't know, but it means something to me because you're never going to get all the moves. You're going to miss a lot of them, and you just got to shake them off. Is it easy to shake off? Oh, my gosh, no, it's not. It really isn't. I'm going through a really rough patch right now because I've lost three of my dearest friends in the last four months. The last was last Friday when Steve Shapiro passed away. I've only got 
one of my two really dearest friends are, are left. And uh, and I tell you, Byron's in Africa half the time working on a Chinese deal for some type of minerals that he works with with the uh, Hong Kong government. And other than that, I hardly talk to him maybe once a week or something like that. So, and I always have Al as a friend. That's right. I know that, Al. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow, folks. Stan Harley is our guest. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 